Hey guys! So, I have a request for a hair video to talk about my crochet braids. So, these crochet braids I have had in for now six, going on six weeks. This is my first time getting crochet braids and I love them, okay? So I was looking for a protective style um, that was quick, easy, kind of a shake and go type of thing, something similar to my hair pattern. And this was like the perfect choice. So I'm gonna go over how it was done, um, how I've maintained it, um, and it's especially for my fit curly girls or anybody who's working out, this is really for you, all right? Because that's what I do, I'm a trainer, so I sweat, so I wanna talk about the maintenance of that and just get right into it. So, the actual crochet braids themselves. So I did not know how to cornrow my own, so I had someone else do that for me. And she did six braids going straight back, and the six braids each have two braids here so that you could have different parts and wear it different ways in the middle, the side, all that good stuff. So that's pretty much what we did there. Now this was my first time doing it. And I say for my first time I actually installed, I watched some YouTube videos myself, which I will actually leave some links to those who, um, Whose, whose videos I actually watch. So that can be helpful to you guys because I won't be actually demonstrating the whole entire thing. I will show you kind of what I did with my latch hook here. Um, so I'll show you how I put them in and I'll show you the hair that I use. So I don't actually have the package of the hair but the actual hair that I use is by Free Tress. So this is just the back of the packaging. And the style of the hair was Bohemian braid. So. It's not actually on the back because this particular package was Bohemian Braids, so this is just additional ones that they have. <clears throat> but, so free dress. And I got it just from my local beauty supply store here um, in North Carolina, but I'm sure that it's pretty much available anywhere. So that's the style that I use. And so it came in individual pieces. So when it came to once the hair was cornrowed, just went in, you know, with the latch hook, took the piece of hair, you know, on your finger, latched it in, took the hook, pulled it through. And the way that I did it, so because if you can see, it looks very full in the front, which I love, but in the back, it's not as full. We did not do um, as much in the back. So I only took two, actually less than two packs of hair, which I was really surprised about. And I uh, cut the hair in half, so it comes in a big bundle and we just cut it right in the middle. And then I just took those strands of hair and I pulled them into pieces. So depending on uh, the area of my head that I was doing it in, I mean, on how many pieces that I actually uh, separated the hair into. So in the back, I didn't really separate a whole lot because you don't see as much in the back. But the front, I separated into two, maybe even three pieces. And so it was really small so that you could not really see the knot. So, yeah, that's pretty much the actual process of the hair itself. And so as we went to the top, it started to layer down. And then at, after I did it, I cut it. So if I'm able to put pictures in this video of what my hair first looked like, I will. But again, this is my first time doing the YouTube. So I'm not all that tech savvy in reference to YouTube, but I'll try it. So hopefully there will be pictures at the end. Um, so yeah, that's your lack, latch hook. Once I got it in, trimmed it. So in reference to maintenance, um, once I started to wear it like in a couple of days, weeks, what you will find is that the hair will start to kind of bunch up together. So in order to keep that from happening every two or three days, what I would do is I would take my water bottle and within the water bottle I would put leave-in and um, I'm gonna show you guys the leave-in that I have. So give me one second. So this is the leave-in that I use, and it's Uidad. Okay, you guys can see this moisture lock. Now this is my go-to leave-in. I would say because this is a synthetic hairstyle, protective hairstyle, I would not use your best of your best leave-in. So within my water bottle, it's probably maybe some shea moisture or um, as I am, not the co-wash, but the as I am leave-in. So this co-wash I use to wash, um, which I'll go through, but 
So yeah, so whenever you're ready to separate, so this is a great example here. So I got a bunch of hair all stuck together. So you just wanna spray, this is water. For whatever reason, the water really helps detangle and it gives it life. Like and you'll see after I can do all this spraying. So I just spray a liberal amount on my hair and I separate. I would not separate dry. You're gonna get a whole lot of frizz. So that's a big maintaining thing. So to eliminate a lot of frizz, wet and separate, okay? Um, and then in reference to um, the other part of the beginning of the maintenance is when you get the frizzies, you want to trim. So you wanna take your scissors as you get frizzes at the end. Um, and I did this almost every other day because it just would shed and shed. So I would just take the frizzies and I would just kinda of shear it up to help with the frizzies and I would just kinda of do that all the way around. And that's just going to naturally happen because it's synthetic hair. So just make sure you're just maintaining with the, the trim. Now in reference to um, washing. So again, like I said, for those who work out a lot. So I really try to go hard on my workouts and I don't want my hair hindering me. So the great thing about this, again, this is six weeks in. I just took one of these with the pointy nozzle <clears throat> and I filled it up with water and I would say maybe a few squirts or something like that. I would use the uh, As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. And I would put some of that in here and I would dilute the shampoo so it was not a whole lot. And the great thing about the crochet is that you can just take it and just go down, you can just go down the uh, parts with it. Yeah. And that's what I would do in the shower. And so the one of the main questions I had was with sweating and things like that, how do you wash? Now the actual hair, I did not wash. As long as my scalp was clean, then the smell, you know, the smell of dirt and oil and all the other stuff was not bad at all. And that coconut co-wash smells really good. So again, go through and then just make sure you rinse it out. I just took the bottle again, took all the suds and everything out and I took the bottle again and I washed that way. If I felt like I still had suds and I would just take the hair and let the water run with my head back so that it really wouldn't mess up the hair. So again, that's the way I wash it. And then once I was done, I would take my coconut oil and I would take that <clears throat> and part my hair and make sure that I kept my scalp well moisturized. And again, with the leave-in, you want to take make sure that you're not only spraying the hair, but actually in the parts so that your actual hair is being protected and uh, well maintained because once you take the hair out, you want to make sure that your hair is in a good state. So that's that. So in reference to nighttime maintenance, okay, what I would do, let me just find this here. <clears throat> At night, I would take one of these stretchy bands and I would take all of my hair, like so, and I would put it all up like this, okay? And then from there, it's actually kind of cute, huh? So, and then from there, I would take this long night stocking thingy and I would wear this over top. So basically, look like this. And I'm gonna tell you, this has been, I think, the saving grace to my hair. What I like is that this band is satin. So if you wanted to lay down your edges before you go to bed at night, taking your Eco Salad Gel, doing your edges, and then you have that band right there. Tie it, you know, nice and snug. And then all your hair is up here. And then the great thing is, it's just, you know, long. So depending if you're wearing it in the long style, so I'm wearing mine short, but it would also protect the long. So that's, I think it's been a major saving grace for me because when I take it down, it's all been here. Versus when I would just try and do a, a banana with my scarf, that would not work out as well, I don't think. So in the morning, I shake, right? And I pretty much go. As long as I have kept my hair separated over the course of the week, right? Making sure the bunches and all the other stuff is taken care of. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. My nighttime, 
day trim as like before I go to work if I need to. Um, keeping my actual hair protected underneath and washing it. And how often I wash it, and I, that may be a question that you guys may have. Um, I just, my personal belief with this protective style, this particular one, I have not washed my hair a whole lot. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because I have found times where I, my hair in reference to growth, like the fertile soil that you kind of leave in there with the oil and all that stuff, as long as my hair didn't smell too bad, I wasn't washing my hair like every other day or anything like that. Like maybe once a week. Just because my hair, it just it soaked up the oil and it was just it didn't smell too bad. I would just make sure I keep my, my coconut oil on it, my uh, leave-in. So I'm not washing a whole lot and I want to try to maintain this as long as I could. So it's only been maybe like once a week and sometimes I would go as far as two weeks before I actually wash my scalp again. And it's just, I think, we'll see when I take these out, but I think it's been good for me so far. So guys, that's pretty much it. If I did not answer a question, because um, I told you about the hair, the brand, pretty much what I did, and I will leave the links to the videos to the ones that I did watch and I found to be most helpful. So if you guys have any questions, leave them below. Um, if you want to find me on any other social media platform, I am on uh, Instagram, and mainly Instagram. And then you can also find my business, Core Elevation fitness and wellness you can find us on uh facebook uh because we are a health and wellness business uh based out of north carolina and we do training we do uh meal plans we do uh everything that has to do with wellness and we also incorporate god into everything that we do so if you guys want to find me there pt trainer shonda that's p t r i n Am I spelling right? E-R, Shonda. <laughs> PT Trainer Shonda, because I'm also a physical therapist. So that's my handle, and you guys can find me there. And I'll put that in the link as well below. So hope this video was helpful, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.